I'm Josh Farley. I'm an ecological economist here at the University of Vermont and a professor in the Department of Community Development and Applied Economics. Um, I'm also a bike commuter because uh, it's the most fun and cheapest and best way to get anywhere. I have to say that I consider myself a bike rider in the same way I consider myself a dishwasher user. You know, it's a very, very convenient tool, better than other tools for getting the job done. As an ecological economist, we believe that the economy is a subsystem, the global ecosystem. You can't make something from nothing, so all the raw materials we transform into economic products come from nature, and you can't make uh, nothing from something, so everything wears out, breaks down, falls apart, and returns to nature as waste. You need energy to do work, and that energy becomes pollution. And we live on a finite planet. And the rate at which we extract raw materials from nature and spew it back to nature as waste is constrained by the size of that finite planet. And we have no choice but to develop an economy within those limits. So my view actually is that we need to have a sustainable economy and many of the big steps we take to getting there are going to improve our quality of life. And I think that's actually uh, not just some statement, I think that's a scientifically verifiable hypothesis. Second is, what is the impact on quality of life of making that shift? And I'm particularly interested, first of all, what's the impact on human health? So huge amounts of evidence showing that as we transition to far more active transportation, there are going to be vast improvements in quality of health. If we have less of our environment dedicated to car habitat, parking spaces everywhere, roads everywhere, you know, so much of our landscape is dedicated to cars. When I was a kid, you'd go out on the street and you'd play in the street, and now you'd get run over and killed because cars have taken over all our public spaces. People say that exercise makes you happier, but the fact is that our status quo as we evolved for 250,000 years was immense amounts of exercise. We had to follow the game, we had to harvest plants, people walk 20 or 25 miles a day. What happens is lack of exercise makes you depressed. By shifting to active transportation, we're trying to restore the norm, how we evolved to be. One of the most unpleasant times in the average person's day is their commute to work. I love my commute to work so much that many times I come in on a Sunday. Today is actually Tuesday. I did ride my bike in on Sunday just to go for a bike ride. Um, I do it regularly, and I don't actually stop at the office, but I just enjoy my commute enough that it's worth doing any day of the week. And uh, I don't know many car drivers who will say the same.